Hi, my name is Lee McCollum. I work at JGR Suzuki and I work on Alex Martin's race bike. So today we're looking at Alex Martin's race bike. We'll start at the front. He uses Carmichael Pro Taper bars, uh, usually right about in the middle maybe a little bit back or forward depending on how he's feeling that day. He, he likes the crossbar. The clamps we make at JGR to Alex, sort of his spec, uh, he's the only one that uses this clamp. Uh, the offset and measurement, I'm not gonna get into that, but uh, the bar risers are 30 millimeters. They're standard Suzuki parts. The uh, steering stem nut is made from Yoshimura, so we've been using them now for a handful of years. Uh, yeah, they work good. It's just a different coating, that's all. Sometimes they're red. They've been in various colors over the years. The cables are factory Suzuki. The grips are uh, full diamond, pro taper, throttle tube is works connection. Get map switch to be able to change the, the map. Uh, over here on the other side is the kill switch and the map for starting. So there's a couple different maps loaded in there for start procedure. Well, sometimes guys can touch the kill button and stall the bike. So we make a little cover for it. Uh, it's just a 3D printed cover that snaps right over the kill switch. And then it, you actually have to touch the button in the middle there to, to stall the bike. For levers, we use uh, the arc levers, the number 26 clutch, and the front uh, brake lever is just a standard arc lever paired up with a factory master cylinder and with a Galfer uh, braided line and then the factory uh, caliper down at the bottom at the wheel. Yeah, the hanger we make in-house uh, for that. It's, it's a special hanger to fit that particular kind of caliper. And then it's paired up with the Galfer rotor, floating rotor. The guard comes from Suzuki Japan. Uh, well, for the forks, yeah, we use the Showa A-Kit forks. We've been changing the settings around a little bit recently. Uh, sometimes they're a little bit stiff, like he rides at home and he wants to stiffen it up. And then when we get to the track, it's a little bit too stiff. And if he rides at JGR track, it's different again. There's three tracks basically, the JGR track, the Florida track, and the track that's race track on Saturday. And it's usually different, a little bit here and there. So last week we went a little bit softer in the settings and it seemed to, seemed to work pretty good. So that was his, really his best race so far. Yeah, we use the Works Connection whole shot device. It's, uh, right now it's set at 145 millimeters down the, the guard. It's basically standard, I think, more or less. You know, it's not too nothing too crazy. He's a small guy, so so that seems to work pretty good for him. Yeah, so down at the wheel, we have the, the factory hub laced up to the yellow rims that we've been using since 2001. Uh, then it has a Pirelli mid-hard tire on it, which is a mid-hard pattern. It's a little bit, the uh, carcass is a little bit stiffer than, than the mid-soft tire, so he prefers that for at least right now. Outdoors we use the mid soft tire so and then uh, down on the on the bottom there we have a carbon fiber ski just to kind of ease it through the ruts. Uh, when they get leaned over quite a bit the axle lug will dig into the dirt so we use that ski to kind of slide through the dirt a little bit. Front axle steel. No the radiators are standard Suzuki for the 250 but they are braced just so they don't bend them with their knees. They squeeze pretty hard so it just tries to keep them straight. No standard routing just a little bit better hose I think than stock that we use. For the cooling we run a uh, 1.8 radiator cap. Yeah we've tested it, we've tried aluminum ones, we've tried to bolt them underneath, we've, we've tried a few different things but uh, it's a little bit too much so we ended up with the carbon fiber skid plate so we make that at JGR. Uh, it just bolts onto the side where the plastic guards usually fit. So the front uh, engine mounts are Works Chassis Lab at the moment that we're testing. Uh, we've only had them just a couple of weeks now. The engine hangers on the side are JGR. Yeah, so the motor is done at JGR. There's a lot of work involved with the head and cam profiles, throttle body and the ECU. Uh, there's a lot of work involved with that and the power the power is a little bit tailored for Alex for Supercross and outdoor is different it's a 250 so you you know you almost want as much power as you can get no matter what there's there's hardly ever a time when they say there's too much power you know for a 250 so but there there's a lot of work involved with that with the uh, the crank and the cam profile the head and ECU and throttle body all together yeah so we use uh, Hinson ignition cover and Hinson clutch cover and the Hinson clutch components also so basket, inner hub, pressure plate, and springs. We also use a different shift pedal, which the tip comes from Japan. We've had those for quite a long time now. Sprocket saver is something that we make at JGR also. So the shift pedal is up a notch higher than normal because of his higher uh, foot pegs. So the foot pegs are made at JGR and they're quite a bit higher than, than the, the normal setting. Tie, titanium foot pegs. Pins are tie. No, the swing arm pivot is titanium. Rear axle steel. Uh, swing arm is standard. Standard chain guide. We used to 
buy the carbon fiber chain guides, but they're kind of expensive and they don't really last that long. So we've kind of done away with those. Uh, the air filter we're using this year is from Maxima. Uh, we do a little bit of work with the air box and then underneath the seat would be the, the data acquisition stuff. Uh, it's kind of hidden, you can't see it, but it's it's under the seat between the air box and the fuel tank. Yeah, subframe is minus 10, kind of standard for the small guys. UFO plastic. Yeah, Al's picky about the seat, so yeah, we keep the foam kind of new. He wants it stiff, so we use a guts foam and seat cover, the Pro Taper sprocket. We do have a master link on there, yep. Dep it kind of depends on what, what linkage ratio that we're using. We've, you know, we've used a few in the last few weeks, uh, so it kind of depends on that, but yeah, the axle is uh, it's not all the way back but it's close to being all the way back at the moment the chain adjuster bolts are tied from Japan and the axle blocks come from Japan also Pirelli mid hard tire and it's a 110 at the moment sometimes we use 120 just depends on the track condition so the rear brakes uh, is a works rear master cylinder with a works clevis uh, the clevis can be adjusted for the pedal height so with Al with a with the higher foot pegs then the pedal is a little bit higher and also the brake pedal tip is higher than than a standard one and then we use a galfer line and a rear uh, caliper with the works piston and galfer pads which is drilled around the edge so for for cooling the muffler is the latest edition of the the muffler so rs12 that's the newest one header pipe we use the chamber on it seems to work a little bit better for our motor uh, yeah the pull rod is made at jgr so it has a removable pills we call it so you can change the length it's easier than making all the different pull rods different lengths so we just change the pill if we need to lengthen it or shorten it all, all the all the hardware on it is is all titanium and aluminum other than the axles all the titanium or all the hardware comes from suzuki japan yeah the header has an o2 sensor for the data Acadize, yeah we had uh, hinson do that for us seat bouncing is hard on the seat they have an extra like length to them so the the extra length goes down and sits on top of the subframe so it can't break off basically uh yeah we make them at jgr they're titanium and so it can break the either the seat pan which is just plastic or sometimes it'll break the bracket so we make these brackets ourselves which are quite a bit sturdier and like i say they're longer so it sits right on top of the subframe so the the graphics are done by paul at armored graphics 